Hey, how are you? What you doing? Uh, so I'm doing some uh, morning um, exercises, stretches. I try to stick to the routine and I love this tree pose very much. Hello, we are in Tbilisi, Georgia. Outside of my building, it's full of greenery and fresh air. You really feel autumn here because of yellow leaves as you can see around and it's beautiful. We really need green therapy during pandemic, you know, and go outside in the nature, walk. So I take my baby girl down here and we're having a good time. So my baby girl is over here. Baby Helen is here. Hi. Is Helen musical like her mama? Smile though your heart is aching, smile even though it's breaking when they are Yeah, we guess that's a smile. yes. I'm most creative whenever I want to express myself and words aren't enough. Uh, I want to, whenever I want to convey my ideas and feelings through arts, through music, in different forms. And even in any situation, you know, uh, for instance, when there's a problem and you want to come up with a solution, that's the time I use my creativity. And what inspires Helen? She gets inspired from music, from arts, uh, from stories, uh, from her surroundings, environment around her. Music idols, go! I grew up listening to Pink Floyd, um, Elvis Presley. Um, and uh, of course Michael Jackson. Nineties songs, heat songs, uh, uh, Spice Girls, uh, um, TLC. They're um, one of my uh, favorite uh, artists that I grew up listening. And of course, um, Aretha Franklin. You know I got it too. Oh, I'm and many, many other uh, artists. Nina Simone. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Who else I can recall? Mm, so, yeah. And no sunshine when he's gone. It's no one when he's away. No sunshine when he's gone. He's always gone too long. Anytime he goes away, wonder this time when he's gone. Wonder if he's gone to stay. And no sunshine when he's gone. And his house is in no home. Anytime he goes away, anytime he goes away, anytime he goes away. Hello and welcome to Soul for Health Talks. I'm your host, Liana Shangalaya. My podcast will cover all the topics about health, wellness, beauty, in arts that are essential to our health and well-being. My aim through this podcast is to empower, inspire, and inform the listeners with science-backed information. It's a long question, it's a long story, and uh, let me make it short. My parents moved to United Arab Emirates uh, back in 1993. Uh, we were moving between uh, Georgia, uh, UAE, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, Sharjah, Dubai. Uh, we were kind of circular migrants. I, um, I was kind of influenced to study medicine. Um, I always wanted to do something in arts, you know, pursue creative career, um, maybe design or 
acting, something like that. I, I was 13 when I already found some universities, you know. I decided, oh, okay, I'm going to study uh, theatre, I'm going to be an actress, you know. Um, and at the same time, I went to study design. I was little, I knew what I wanted. I, uh, I looked for um, universities. I have already found some um, acting uh, courses and uh, design. And I wanted to have two degrees. Uh, but um, this couldn't happen, didn't happen, uh, because I had to study medicine, because my uh, family, they were uh, like, you know, it's a proper profession and you will have a stable income. So this didn't uh, stop me to uh, continue being uh, active in arts. Um, I was keep, uh, playing instruments, writing songs, performing, uh, painting, uh, being creative, you know. So I was also painting a lot um, since childhood. I didn't stop. While in med school, I took it a bit serious. I learned oil painting, I did some oil paintings. I was also doing some um, acrylic paintings. So I uh, wanted to, you know, uh, to do this on the side as well. And so on the background, you can see one of my paintings. Um, yeah, and uh, I also did some illustration on my um, album, the one that we've released uh, back in 2016, a debut album, self-titled. Taylor Twins, self-titled one. You can see Galaxy, and uh, this is the cover of the album, and um, the CD as well. Inside is an uh, acrylic painting of an eye. Okay, an eye. Oops. And um, I uh, currently I have uh, launched my eyewear uh, product, and this eyewear product is something that um, where. I can use my creativity, um, design skills, and um, it's also um, a wellness product. After my master's in global public health and policy, I felt like it was the right time, you know, to have a baby, and um, I was ready to have a baby girl. So now I have a biggest blessing in my life, uh, baby Helen. Uh, how this happened, I met my husband, um, actually my friend, best friend from Lebanon introduced me. In April 2020, I've created a Sofa Health Talks. Uh, I called it Sofa because it's a casual kind of um, uh, interview conversation with experts around the world. So hello everybody, our guest today is Dr. Carliara Wise, expert in behavioral sleep medicine and circadian rhythm. Thank you so much for having me here, Dr. Liana. I'd like to start with the first question about this digital age, and we are overly exposed to blue light, especially those who are working remotely during the pandemic, who are sharing their um, knowledge and expertise. Um, and I felt like it was the right time because there's a lot of uh, misinformation going on. And um, I also have a <laughs> master's in global public health. And I wanted to uh, solve this problem and um, apply uh, my health communication skills. So this is your hidden talent. This is how I practice. Because all the uh, courts are closed, so... Yeah, this is my hidden talent. I love playing tennis. What really fools me is a challenge, adventures, continuous learning, and creativity. So, what is your favorite food? I really love exploring um, some Mediterranean cuisine. Uh, it's so healthy, it's considered the healthiest. So, you know, healthy food is the best medicine, so it's really important to have five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. I really enjoy having fruits. I can have a whole day fruits only. <laughs> but yeah, vegetables are also important. So I love having vegetables as well. So yeah, I'm passionate about, about healthy eating. Question um, about if I'm more like spiritual or science person. Yeah, uh, well, I am both. I approach to life. Um, in a holistic way, um, I combine spirituality and science together, so that's the way I live.